Curiosity kills the cat, or gets it sent to Fort Joy. Hmm. Hmm. You're willing to risk Fort Joy for one night with a lizard? Then you're an idiot. <laughs> what the heck? You would be sent to Fort Joy for sleeping with a lizard? The bell rings what do you want, tree stock? Well, the very best for all people. Huh. I want another beer and a bowl of stew. Which of us is more likely to get what they want, do you think? It's really sunshine. You know, optimism is more duty. Guess that makes me a sinner. Perhaps you can help us settle an argument. Hmm. What's your disagreement? Tatcha here is one of my dearest friends, but she isn't the brightest. Who rings the bell? Tatcha grins, hello. Our mate Boris got posted to Fort Joy for consorting with lizards. And Tatcha Back here on. still fancies a turn around the park with Lovric's lizard. I say she'd be sleeping with the enemy. What say you? Yeah, Lois, well, I'm explaining to do. What the heck? You get sent to Fort Joy for consorting with lizards? They look at you expectantly. Oh, I left the first one. No. That's just looking for romance. She should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Tatcha bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. <laughs> nice. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magister. Two magisters. The magisters. Tatcha doesn't look disrespected. Tatcha looks amused. Disrespecting one magister is enough. Go on. Get lost. She turns back to her drink. Yeah. Of course it's She not tips true. you a wink, then turns away. You talk? Probably not. Come on, come on. Right. Come on, come on. You got that right. Greatest celebration of the year. And I'm tiny. Oh. I can see a sorcerer from a minute. Hey, we have some sleeping around to do. You see that glowing in the lock? Basically saying. Me. I can hear it. It's enough. Of course it's not true. My lord will want. I'm not in love with you. Hmm. No. Lock is gone. Unidentified staff. I mean we're not using staffs, but oh well. And it infects me. And some battle. Everything all right with you? Weathered and rugged, the man sleeps soundly. He mumbles in his slumber. <sighs> There's bad things in the caves. Bad dwarf things. Hmm. <sighs> Lavender tries to wake him up. Startled, he opens his eyes, but he's staring into the distance. He's still asleep. What bad dwarf things in the caves? <sighs> Blood and oil do mix, after all. <sighs> mm. Mm. It's mine. Get off. He goes back to sleep. Weird. Of course it's not true. Like that. Mm. You got that right, Hilga. You got that Lord. right. I'm not in love with you. And I'm saying, you can trust me. I can see a sorcerer from a mile away. Is that so? And you can't be too careful, you know? If they can get Alexander, they can get any of us. Gosh. You're right about that. Right as rain, Hilga. There's people who are just making up conspiracy theories. That's a shame, it is. An absolute shame. What are you talking about? What's a shame? Alexander, slaughtered like a supper lamb, poor dear. It ain't right. It ain't right. Never thought I'd say this. I hope they round up them sorcerers for good. I ain't needing one sick and avoid working on me. You mm -hmm. said it, Hilga. You're a true patriot. What the heck? Patriotic about that. Oh well. Mm, look at her. She looks. White restless. 
Then we also have this room, and I think then we can yes, go ma down and hmm. talk to the guy who set us up with the lizard. Of course, it's not true. Hmm. This town is poor, Smile but this want. room I'm not is in love rich. Seaman, <laughs> can't you hear the bells are ringing? A weathered woman in a dirty sea captain's tunic babbles breathlessly to herself, and somewhere nearby, you hear a bell ringing. Ah, uh, is he haunting her? The bell rings a warning, and the tide is on the turn, and okay. I without my compass. You got that right. You all held a compass. Must have been the captain. So, where does your ship lie berthed? The ship is in the locker, on the bottom in the rocky shallows, and all are drowned but me. Mm. And yet, can you hear? The bell rings on. The bell haunts me yet, and it would drive me mad. You know, I do hear the bells, and a cruel laughter too. I'm haunted by my crew. They ring the bell to drive me mad. Please make it stop. I mean, literally. She buries her head in her hands and cries. Mm -hmm. Make it stop. Let's talk to the ghosts. Hard report. Can't my you hear the bells are ringing? I'm not in love with you. A ghostly seaman stares at the captain, his lip curled in a malevolent grin, his eyes wide with hate, and all the time he rings his bell. He registers your presence. His head swivels towards you. Spoke to the lady captain, didn't you? I seen your elf cozying up. Are you with her or sail you with us? No, I think it's time to set sail yourself. Your life is over, and you can go to the Hall of Echoes. I'm doing my duty here. I am. I'm the lookout, and I'm ringing the bell. Rocks ahead, Captain. There's no lighthouse here. Rocks ahead. <laughs> so she didn't listen and sunk her ship and her whole crew. You know, your dad. It is time to move on. Of course it's not true. But I'm on duty here. There are rocks ahead and the captain must know it. You're relieved. It's over. He blinks once, twice. A single salty tear drips from one ghostly eye. The bell falls silent. He raises a finger to his temple in salute and fades away. She babbles breathlessly on, barely aware you're there, and nearby sounds a ringing bell. My ears are still a ringing. But, well, the bell should ring no more. And I have you to thank for it? Then thank you, I surely do. That accursed bell lies with the peacemaker on the bottom in the rocky shallows. My compass lies there too. Mm, what kind of compass? The compass surely lies on the bottom, near where the ship was wrecked. Take it with my blessing, if you can find it. My sailing days are done. Yeah, I guess after experiencing that, you don't really want to sail anymore. Um, what exactly is the wreck? Let me mark your chart. But you be warned, stay off the wreck itself. Let her lie as a monument to her dead crew, and as testament to my mistake. So, what exactly happened to the Peacemaker's cargo, if there was one? It must have a salvage value, right? She goes white, as white as the proverbial ghost. Hmm. You've got no call to go looking for no cargo. Far as anyone's concerned, we sail with an empty hold, and if there's anything left to salvage, you leave it where it is. What the hell? What is in there? Heed me. Leave the cargo of the Peacemaker alone. Of course it's not true. Mm. She turns away. Conversation over. Mm. I'm not in love with you. <laughs> You've got a pick who you can trust. You got that right, Helga. You got that right. I didn't like Money? And I'm saying you can trust me. I can see a sorcerer from a mile away. 
And you can't be too careful, you know. Yeah, nice, uh, Of course it's not true. So we're still going to take the divorce right course. About that. Right as rain, you Smile all you want. I'm not in love with you. Hmm. Abel Weather's diary. Tide turns. I have no compass. Scribblings bring me choppy thoughts to leeward. The compass lies in the rocky shadows of the peacemaker and her deck crew. The bell rings eve warning yet. Oh, the wreck be many miles from here, over the hills and the bluffs. A small inlet in the shadow of the keep. The rocky shallows for the beach and a gorge too low for us. I walk the woods to of make a better it's port. Not true. Through the fearful forest, the heroed and mm. screaming. Smile all pain. you want. I'm I not in love with bell. you. Though it drove me all insane, looking out the night. The peacemaker lies wreckage at the coast, another one for the Reaper. The tide turns, and I, without my compass, but blast this infernal bell. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, that's just. We have some more stealing to do. I'm sorry. Of course, it's not true. Hmm. Well, she stares off into the tunnel. Smile all you want. I'm not in love with oh, you. She's You've got to put me trust. You got that right, Hilga. Me? You just... got that right. And I'm saying you can trust me. I can see a sorcerer from a mind. Yeah, sure. And you can't be too Hilda. careful, you know? You can see a sorcerer. Get from Alexander, a then, okay. yeah. You're right about that. Right as rain, Hilga. Interesting. It's not called. It's not considered criminal to pick this lock. Well then, yeah, why did I do? I didn't ask for permission, but I take. Damage reduction. City controls. Dead rat. What's the dead rat doing here? Rock of Ages. Hubert here ruminates on the powers of certain sorcerers to manipulate the very earth beneath their feet. What Great bulls may fly noise? through the air, dirt may mutate and poison the unwary, and a warrior may become a walking fork to fiery doubt. But it goes to great pains to seem both disgusted and baffled, and mostly it seems fascinated. And I'm saying you can trust me. Yes, I can see a sorcerer from a mountain. There's a dwarven dagger in this. And you can't be too careful, you know? If I can get Alexander... There's something behind this. Oh, Interesting. There's the nothing behind right this here. picture or this portrait, and we can't pick it up. Why is there another dead rat? recipe from this book, but this reads more like a puzzle than a recipe. All I have to experiment with what I can learn from these rhymes. Creepy dead magic requires one shadow, and good at ingredients, skull and bone marrow. With parchment and paper you then can compose malevolent magic and sinister scrolls. Offering leadership. That's nice for Lisa. Neat. You got that right, Hilka. And I'm saying, Riddleson's silly book of blanks. I can see a sorcerer from a mile away. Ah, we already saw that in the book. Careful, you know. If I can get one of the records. Yeah, and considering that you have a face ripper here, and considering that the um, barmaids is Niall's mother, I think this might be Niall's study. What a charming young man. Casually having a face ripper lying around. Oh well. Ah. Within the children's rhymes written on the pages, find a curious chant entitled Alice Alice Young. Don't get close to Malice Alice, else she turn you to a toad. Don't you dare kick Alice Malice, or you'll be all pigeon toad. She's sick her rats and call her cats. 
if they feed you to a camp of bats. Don't say hi to Malicellus, or you'll fly off as a crab. Keep that in mind for, I don't know, it will take some episodes and some streams. It will be right. You go that way. Right. And I'm saying you can trust me. I can see a sorcerer from a mile away. And you can't be too careful, you know? If I can get Alexander, I'm okay. Baron Levere. I think that the guy, um, Ethan is supposed to meet up, right? Ethan. Hmm. Ah, you. Running with Why do you shiver, sir? Meet with Baron this Levere. This room is temperate enough, is it not? Quite so, my lord. Quite so. The atmosphere in here is. Well, uh, that is kind of odd. Spooky. We have Baron Levere here, which is rhyming. Spooky. And we have the spirit together. of Baron Levere. Well, check the cupboards for ogres? So you think this Baron Levere is that, not. That's, that's quite all one. right, my lord. Baron Levere. I am Baron Levere. I am Baron Levere. Not he. Not he. I am Baron Levere. No. What's going on? Can you explain your predicament and. You actually are. An imposter is he, that man over there, a lone wolf in my own sheep's clothing. Bejeweled is he with a false name, As draped expected. is his back with a false mantle, bedecked are his cheeks with a false beard. Murderer, thief, imposter, I am Baron Levere. But why would a lone wolf murder you? A rival's revenge, another merchant's madness. Oh, the fever of gold is reason's bane. But it matters no longer what drove them to daggers. It matters who drove them into my flesh. You who hears the laments of the dead, avenge me. Kill the false baron. Give me back my name. Please, avenge me. Mm. Yeah, those are lone wolves for you. Right, Ifan? Talk to him. As you approach the silken robe noble, Ifan does a double take and laughs in recognition. He pulls you to one side. I know this man, and he's not at all what he seems. A moment. I noticed. Lavender, where's Ifan a hat? Ifan bounds forward and embraces the man, all effusive greetings. As they part, talking animatedly, the man's beard slips sideways down his face. He's wearing a disguise. Ifan laughs as he straightens the beard. <laughs> they chatter away for some time, using a guttural cant you struggle to understand. At one point, the man says something and looks over at you intently. Ifan waves his hand and laughs. Lavender has them continue their conversation. The man hunkers down and seems to be sketching a rough map on the floor, using an apple, some playing cards, and a fistful of threads pulled up from the carpet. Ifan claps the man on the back and turns to leave. Well, now we know the way to the sawmill. And we know Roost thinks I'm bringing you there as part of the Godwoken contract. Hmm. Hear that? Roost is camped that out at the sawmill. That would be my stomach, my lord. Yeah, since Sybil also Perhaps wants to I talk could to go downstairs for a Roost bit of stew. Absolutely not. So, Roost is at a sawmill. Let's pay him a visit, shall we? Yes, of course. Very curious how it's going to go with both of them having very. well, opposing plans for what to do there. Lavender grins and nods. She smiles. Her eyes are dark pools brimming with anticipation. Must be an awful lot of fun toys to be had at a sawmill. Yeah, the question is, do we now go and adventure? I mean, in the end, the lone wolves are after us, right? Here now, when one's in a small town, one must expect small town manners, I see. Excuse me? Have you a reason for barging into my room, sir? Hmm. Ooh, quite a good merchant, actually. Uh, which means if we kill him, we can't. Um. Let's rob him. First. 
And while we rob him, we can think about if we want Doesn't to kill this him. Room yeah, um... There's a third guard, wasn't there? Yeah. Uh, probably it's not moving. Oh, yes. Better watch yourself last. Neat. Careful now, that's a trap. That was close. Ooh, a lone wolf mug. I think that might also be very useful. Serious orders. Yeah, and the question is, of course, what do we want? Summoning and resistance. Those are not as nice as the ones I currently have. So many options, so many things I could just steal. Shield. Ah, let's just go. This and the fancy key and the mysterious orders and we're going to take one and eggs and a, well, not a spear. Oops. Uh -huh. Well, I was too impatient. I should have taken the gold, by the way. I planned that and planned that too. What? 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 You instantly die. And the battle lock is high. How? So much freaking much damage. I can't even continue my fake story about how that was intended. Uh, it's a little skip due to sleeping. Ah, um, the traps, for whatever reason, the traps detonated. Damn it. Okay, I would say that was off to a very bad start. Hey! Uh, I want healing. that didn't reach the bill which was intended. Well, first bill. Also give her armor. Plus, on the other hand, she will lose uh, magical armor anyway. Okay. This will be a hard fight, I think. Oh. At least because of a very, very bad start. C hard place. Did it do that was also absorbing fire, right? Mm -hmm. So much physical armor. All three of them. This will be hard. How am I going to try it? Also, uh, we're having such a bad setup. And here, I think I will just the vacuum aura. I think that's yeah, that causes suffocating and silence. We're going to focus on him. And what's also nice is we're sending a fire, so all our fire skills are a little cheap. Oh wow, because of rock. Ah, okay, that wasn't smart. Mm, they all have that. Uh, skip a bonus turn. Bonus turn to the bill is just way too risky, so let's pass that on. Like I said, but she will persevere at least a little bit. Oh, and for push, then we can just go for the fire infusion. But we need the magical um, damage. The snake. What is wrong with me? It's late. 
Oh no! I said the moon up there immune to fire. Well, I don't have an alternative actually. Character's dead, one is a chicken. I hate everything about this. The last. Uh... I don't know what to do. Cast down with protection, but we all have still our. Oh, come on. Regenerate a bit of armor. Let's hope for the best. Ace, so going to die. Least physical armor. I think we're just going to on one, so we have to start. Terrifying cruelty. Did that much damage, but it causes bleeding and terrified. Which is not the worst. like electrical but it deals poison damage which Just survived into the dome. How much do you deal? Uh, not enough for what I want to do. Oh, 
one at a time. It's not going to take five minutes. I did it. Wow, nothing. Ooh, burning daggers. This might be nice for Sibyl. Ah, two-handed. Ring awarded arrow for. That's a pretty fun fight though, right? Especially because it was so close and, well, not really optimal. It was definitely fun. Fusion Geomancy Persuasion. Mm. Yeah. Sell it. And a crossbow also selling. Rectus scrolls will take. We can eat them. Daggers. They are nicer. I don't get the finesse. But in the end the finesse is just plus five damage. I mean it's it also goes for um skills. That's actually a good good question. How much does the dagger damage actually influence the skill? So 37 to 42. Forty-one to forty-six, it influences that, and you also get the magical damage thingies. That's cool. Where's where's? Also add a rune, so more damage. Go. Go. Necklace isn't too interesting. Under lock and key. Interesting that we could open just one of those, but not both of them. Ooh, apparently he has a ring of bartering. Which doesn't do anything about bartering, it just gives more movement and chicken claw. This little signal ring is so hypnotizing, you suddenly feel like you do almost anything for it. Serious. Um who could benefit from who could benefit from chicken claw? Who's up close? Who would use more movement? Hmm. I think I should sell it. And shield, that might be cool. Level nine. Plus than this one. The imposter is dead. My name is mine once more. You who suck as the souls of the dead, I thank you. I am Baron Levere. In the halls, I'll be Baron Levere. You're welcome. That was my plan all along. I just didn't completely accidentally stumble into this fight. <clears throat> right. I mean, good thing that... Ethan was able to sort all his stuff out before. Um. Of course, it's not true. Hmm. Just confused that the chroniclers there. Let like me just you. check that we truly still have the item. We do. Horus Claws. He gives you his mischievous grin. Mm. Lovric. I did promise you the experience of a lifetime. 
Hello. Kill you, comrades. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't grant you the same reward. His eyes widen. His lip quivers. You expect him to be afraid, even ashamed, but he's relieved. Oh, thank the gods. They had me over a barrel. You have to believe me. It's hard enough to earn a crust around here, and me and the young'un, we've been starving. No, come on, I don't believe you. There's no young one. He contrives to look even more pitiful. But then, a grin breaks across his face. Oh, hell, I can't keep a straight face. You're right, there's no young'un. It's an easy way to make a little extra money. But mm -hmm. no harm done, eh? Admit it, you had a good time. No harm done? Bill died. Yeah, not going for violence. And a bears his teeth to show how he feels about him. And then walks away. The thing is, what I did in the first let's play is um, to actually be like, okay, why should I just kill you? I went through with that. Um, the thing is that he's like, if you attack me here, everyone will attack you. And I wouldn't want to risk that. By the way, I think we didn't talk to this one. After that, we can go to Papa uh, Fresh. She nods an uninterested greeting. Here for the fight. Fight? What fight? This is a tavern. People are drinking. Eventually there'll be a fight. You planning on starting one? Mm, and you could ask her to side with you if it happens. But and then it just shrugs. Maybe. Well, I look forward to beating the shite out of you then. Bye now. Till. Okay. Completely normal intact. An elf connects the wisdom of the ages. 